What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. Berserk 233-234. I'm feeling a triple header here, so possibly 235, depending on how long these two are. Um, got a lot of developing things. It looks like the Kashan have developed some type of way to... I would almost say they've got like a little bit of a magic thing going on. Um, maybe a little different than what the old lady and Shirka have going on. To, but they still do seem to be kind of like possessed in a way. Because we've seen Shirka, like when she needs to tap into things, she taps into these like ethereal elementals almost. And they kind of take over her, which she then projects their magic out. In some instances, other instances we've seen her just like say a bunch of shit, incantations, and magic just just happens. Um, they've got something going on to where they're giving the parts of themselves up to embed dark magic into objects. They, I don't know. They got a lot of moving shit going on with the whole Kashan thing. Um, but Griffith's band of the Hawk are showing up here to essentially rid. Midland of what's going on here, and they're going to be made to look like saviors, and it's like, how can you even oppose them, even if fucking uh, Gut showed up with Casca and right in front of Charlotte's face and tried to explain to her what happened? First of all, she probably wouldn't even believe it, and then to even try to dissuade her off of what Griffith has then done since then to like liberate them, it's, it's a lose-lose battle. It's a lose-lose, it really is. Um, but we'll see what happens if and when we get to that point. Um, besides that, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's press play on this. Okay. That's going. The mic is on. We are also recording. Okay. Chapter 233. And they're chasing an apostle that they're never going to catch, by the way. Absolutely not. In my opinion. Can we see him like phasing through things too? He luring us? No shit. How about you stop following? <laughs> How about you stop following, man? The fuck is that? Has this always been here in Midland, or what is this? Place? I thought for a second those were just like giant sized behelids, but I don't know what that is. Is this Griffith's doing? Or is this the um, Kashan leader's doing? What am I looking at here? It looks to be monsters feeding off of something? What are they feeding off of? That's where all his, uh, they're like pumping, what are they pumping into these things? Like there's some guy, I don't know if you guys can see my cursor, there's some guys filling like these casks with, like, what is this? This is how he uh, makes his little soldier trolls, little golems and shit. What is this? Do they not, do they not know what they've been serving? I guess they're kind of... They're not. Are they Kashan? Whatever the hell they are, the Baki Raka. They they seem like they're maybe their own subset of like they're Kashan by um nationality. Maybe that's not what they serve. It's like offering sacrifices and shit. Eh? She's dead as fuck. What is it? This is it? Isn't yeah? This is these those little things that he uh, those little troll golem, golems and shit that he had as his army. So it does look like. What am I looking at right here though? What is this? Is this him sacrificing real men? And they're kind of being reborn as something, and as they're being reborn, they need to feed. So like th after they've been fed after they've been sacrificed this is what they come out as and then they just need to be fed or what and it pumps it out every sacrifice and everything just pumps out these 
I don't know. Look at them just caged up. Look at all the women dead. Illicit sorcery. Oh, it's definitely sorcery. Like, it's, it's some shit going on. Interesting. Of course, they're using apostles to birth demons. Apostles to birth demons? What do you mean, of course? Like, that's just common knowledge across the land. How are they even capturing them? Those apostle body interiors are linked to the beyond. They're patched together, still alive, and filled with amniotic fluid. When pregnant women are submer- Oh, these are pregnant women! That's why they're being ripped open at the stomach, and the fetus is coming out, and the offspring are infused with evil. This is damn near like what happened to the, the Guts Casca child. Demon children are born. Okay, so we were kind of on the right. A little bit. I thought he was giving up real men. And they were being infused with evil. Being reborn as demon children. I was just missing the part where like he's actually offering pregnant women. That seems like a lengthy process. Like, do they just need to be a little bit pregnant? Do they need to be damn near about to burst pregnant? Hmm. And how is he... How is he getting these apostle bodies? Are they capturing them? Or is he somehow tapping into the astral? Where other apostles might be... But, uh, I was going to say, we don't know of apostles to not be on, like, Earth. But we don't know that they're not in the astral as well. I don't know. We could sit here for an hour going back on forth on these just, like, three panel bubbles alone. Roxa, just how? What do you know? Well now, I'll tell you this one thing. The one who is your keeper? He's truly a demon king, not a man. Red Emperor, what has he done? He opened the gates of He's got something going on. And that's kind of what I hinted at last chapter was, I feel like he's he's in some deep, dark magic sorcery. Like, I think he's doing this, He's he's doing magic, just like Shirka does. But it's like a different subset. Like they're trying to do magic in more of like a worship, I connect, I am one way. They're just like, I'll give up whatever to obtain said magic. But the way I kind of felt like it was described last chapter was he's somehow able to access that kind of like doorway of hell. And just pull souls to put into things to be team. But he's saying somehow got apostles damn near under control. So, how do these... I still think these are going to be fodder, but we'll see. We'll see. And are they easy Are they easy to kill? Do they regen? Like, what's the issue here? I mean, because if that's the case, we just speared, what, 10 at once? Like, did we just kill 10 in one go? Or do we regen and pop back up? Uh-uh. Oh, did he go ahead and hit the, uh... Squirtles char uh, fucking hitting stage two war turtle shit. What is this? Got some centaur shit. Did he fuse with his own horse? I actually don't know. I'm going to say no because we've never seen anything like that. Where like an apostle has evolved and fused with something. Where did his horse go? Um, kind of dope though. It's giving me very, um, kind of like Alien vibes, the movie. You know that really old movie, Alien? A creature claiming both armor and horse. Tire, I'd say, of a demon knight. Do not think that these rank and file stand to slaughter us war demons? I mean, they don't. They do not stand a chance. Like, I wanted to see, like... Like, because this man's been talking a lot of shit. Granted, if I had access to what he was doing, I would feel pretty confident in my abilities as well. Um, but this is a whole other ball game. And I'm curious, like, do they put up any kind of fight? Do they make them sweat at all? Or is this just a straight steamroll? I have no idea. Damn, did they all just fucking... Eat a bunch of rare candies and insta-evolve? They've all turned back here. 
He's got some like stegosaurus shit going on. He's got this like double ram centaur head. He's got a rhino head, crawfish, lobster boy over here. What is going on? That's a pretty dope shot, by the way. Band of the Hawk War Demon Lancers forward. Well, Demon King, you got anything worth anything? Because uh, it's not looking too good right now. Those elephants transform into anything? Are the are these just two men that just happen to like just get caught in the fodder <laughs> and get beheaded here, or are these just statues that the horses that the elephants ran over? I don't know. A demon dinner party, certainly a fitting spectacle for this demon castle. Got. Let's see what we really got going on here. My eyes deceive me. Oh, you're 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 losing. You're definitely uh, losing. I would love to see this animated. This is this is probably besides the like the original eclipse. This might be the best overall just mass fight. Um, we've had like men facing off against men in large numbers. But with just the way the apostles look, and I'm sure a lot of them have like distinctive different colors from the others, if we ever did get to that point. And I'm sure these demon goblins have their own kind of like color distinctions. And the elephants, like I'm sure they all stand. I bet it would be wild if it was animated, like animated really good too. It's just, <laughs> what are you even looking at at this point? Hell has flooded over exactly. This is just... Good God. Great Emperor. Well, great Emperor. I'll tell you this one thing. One who is your keeper, he's truly a demon king, not a man. Yeah. They have a lot of numbers, but I don't see them doing much of anything. He looks dope. He looks really... That's probably one of my in my top five apostle transformations. Up there with Grumbeld and some others. That knight called Locus, such splendid fighting form. He's deserving of his command over this unit of the Band of the Hawk. But how long can he fight against this many? Daka and Ishaka? Well, I mean, they're just so much stronger. The numbers, like, your numbers will eventually run out. And I don't even know if apostles of this caliber, like, do they tire? Knights of the Hawk, show me you can break through this. And here's the thing. I don't like that they're trying to, like... As a viewer here, I have no rooting interest in this shit. I hope both sides die. <laughs> so, like, when... What's, it, what's the man's name? Locus? When he's over here trying to give like a, a a motivational like judo speech like knights of the hawk show me like we can do this like i'm not rooting for you i don't need to hear your encouraging words to your uh your group like just have them mindlessly fight i don't need any dialogue i hope both sides lose <laughs> but you're trying to you're giving me this like humanization of like oh yeah defeat the demon king to be honest i hope the demon king beats them but we know this is, you know, anime or kind of whatever you want to label it as. Um, this man here, this man, Demon King boy, he's not going to just wipe out Griffith and his apostles. It's just not going to happen. This man is going to be used as a plot point device. That's all he is. So if this was like a final end boss here. Then I could be like, okay, I truly don't know which side might win. Um, but he's just in the way. You're just in the way, unfortunately. Or fortunately. However you want to describe that as. That Legolas over here. I want to see his transformation. He's got that crazy-ass bow. Oh, he tried to go for it. Oh, shit. Went right through him. What? 
the hell? Like, show me something. It's like, I do want to see, like, y'all are building up this whole, like, oh, this is dark magic. He's really, he's really, you know, dabbling in the gates of hell, yada, yada, yada. Well, shit, show me something. How strong is he? I want to see a little magic. I just don't want to see them get walked over and Griffiths just walks up and, like, beheads him at the end. Like, show me a couple of apostles fall here. Like, show me he, you know, can do something. is that and like part of me wants to be like oh shit this could rival Griffith but it can't and I don't even know what Griffith's capabilities are but it just can't it looks cool it really does but god this would make a crazy set piece could you imagine it's animated heed my words pygmies so proud of what little evil you harbor within feel the touch of true power curious like what the apostles think of this are they scared are they worried where's griffith in all this by the way just examining from far what the hell is this i mean it's like become one with earth here a demon king no the power of a demon god can a demon god beat a different god we got two gods that need to square off all who enter this demon city are like insects writhing in the palm of my hand your puny goal will not be achieved. Obey me and surrender now. You sure about that? You will retort. <sighs> There's something behind you. Yeah, it looks cool. I'm sorry, man. You're gonna die. Thunder? My my, will it rain? For some reason, the castle seems lively tonight. Come your highness, any more will prove harmful. Turn in for the night. Highness? Whatever happens, I at least will never leave your side. Have a good night. I pray Griffith just doesn't show up in her window. Night in shining armor shit. And I can't stand this dude. <laughs> I really can't. Oh, brother, I really can't. I already know his ass is going to be sitting there, hair flowing in the wind. I already know. All right, we'll do triple letter. Oh, yeah, we're actually only 17 minutes. This is good. A lot of you were asking, you know, chapters are going by too fast. Can we get a triple header? I got you, okay? <clears throat> that embroidery is a window. One that exists to free your spirit from this tower. Ergo, this is my role. <sighs> Undepicted beyond the window. Look at this piece of shit. Hey, bro. I don't like the way she's animated. She looks like a child child, like eight years old. Um, there he is. Do flip and do. He's gonna be just so starstruck. Though it be discourteous, I ask once again your pardon, Princess Charlotte. She just doesn't know. And here's the thing I think even if she did know, she wouldn't care. Even if she witnessed, if she witnessed all of it, like if she was there, not like Shirka, like somehow shows her guts as memories or something like that. Even if she was physically at every scenario, he like everything that we witnessed, I don't think she would care. She might care a little bit, but I don't, I don't think she would care. I think this she would have the same reaction. Ah, <sighs> Lord Griffith, you can't. This is the dream, dream. It has to be, over and over, asleep or awake, it's all I think about. I lost track of what was a dream and what was real. I I mean, something like this is too much to seem real. Like a little girl's dream. A knight come to rescue a captive princess. See what I'm saying? Like, she's got this, just, this fairy tale princess story made up in her head. And he could literally, he could drag Anna into the room, behead her, and grape her right in front of her. She's still just her princess la la land honestly even i laugh at how childish that is it's so high up here i mean i mean 
beneath the moonlight. You're, she's stumbling over her words. Why does she look so young? When they showed us her a couple chapters ago when we first saw her, like two or three chapters ago, she looked a little bit like grown. She looks like a baby here. But please, I beg you, don't disappear like that time. Princess who pricked her finger with the needle fell into a sleep. There's a story like that. It's pain and dream. Or not. I can't stand. So warm. No, it's not. Princess just now woke up. I feel so bad for her. It gives me like spoilers if you haven't seen Naruto. It gives me like cutting obsessed with Sasuke vibes to like she will ignore everything and do anything for him and he would be like Charlotte stand still and stab her right in the heart and she wouldn't blink she'd still be in love with him after the fact like he would treat her like that like he he cares nothing for her or Griffith hey her highness is calling you highness what is it highness Anna Never mind, just put that on. Get on the bed. Listen well, Anna. Whatever happens, cling to the bed and don't move from it. She's gonna jump out the fucking... Yeah. Going out the window. What in the world? I know you must have had a scary dream, and so... I do not know, but Lord Griffith said to stay like this. Oh. That he would take us from here? Yes, that must have been very nice. No more sleeping? No dream. You know, just pulling the bed out the goddamn... Yo, some of these apostles look sick. This literally looks like Bulbasaur. No bullshit. It's like ironclad wolf going on and shit. Damn. All forces withdraw. Yeah, y'all better back the fuck up. Because uh, I think Griffith's about to do some shit. What are they up to? I would love to see how, like what he looks like in this glowing ethereal form hush better get out of there boy huh what is this Samehada looking tank turtle hermit crap what the hell is going on here eh how did they retreat why so suddenly? Bro, have you looked behind you, like, once? That much charging power, they might have been able to breach my force. No, it's likely. So why? Couldn't be. It could be. What well, could be? Damn you. Sky. Fog reaches not. Yeah. Deceived me. Minus what is going on? <laughs> I do not know either. But I will say shout out to Charlotte, though. She's never going to leave Anna behind. At least she's got that about her. This, this is, this is the sky. <laughs> Anna has always been like Puck in human form to me. Less annoying, though. Bed is flying through the sky. I mean, oh, a dream. How about that? See how they always, they always give her like the side bubbles. This is a dream, then. My home, please, sir bed. A dream? Yes, true. It's just like... But... So is he... Is he riding... Z no, he, Zod's not here. I want to say, is that Zod that just picked it up and he's riding on top? I don't know what I'm looking at. I miss this dreamscape. His finger at least still feels warm. No, it is. It is. Holy shit, what a shot that is. Yeah, that's definitely the shot of the... Oh, man. I was going to say, that's not Zod, because Zod's hand... Again, I don't know what's going on here as far as timelines are going here. I don't... Like... Was, what's, what's going on right here? I was going to say it was happening simultaneously with what's going on at the treehouse. But... They could very well be not on the same line. This could be happening before what happened at the treehouse. It could be happening right after. Because we know Zod's not in two places at once. 
it's currently fight. Well, currently, I, I don't know what's ha what's happening currently. I don't know where we're at time wise. This could be current. This could be past. This could be future. What we do know is at the clubhouse, clubhouse at the treehouse, witch's house. He's fighting Zod. I mean, he's fighting Skull Knight. So he can't be here and fighting Skull Knight at the same time. So one has to have happened before the other. I would like to believe this happened first. And then he sent them out. Um, but again, I don't know. I just, I hate the, f what I hate is the, the fawning over this man by Charlotte in particular and how everybody else is going to be within the city um because they just don't know and it's, honestly I think if some did know but he still like released them from this demon kingdom that they've been in they wouldn't care they wouldn't even care um interesting stuff though I thought those some of those apostle transformations looked pretty damn cool um, we still haven't seen the Legolas one transform yet. You know, he's got that big ass bow that has the eye on it. Um, it's a lot of moving pieces. I think the Demon King stuff looks great and it looks really damn powerful. But again, it's unfortunate because I think you're just going to be a plot point that's just in the way to elevate Griffith. Um, so I, I don't know what that shadowy, glowing, Zeus looking figure is. What are the limitations? Like, how do you even damage him? Because he doesn't even look like he can be physically, like he's even physically there. Um, but I don't know what Griffith is able to do. He might be able to, like, curse him out or seal him. I, I have absolutely no idea. Um, feel bad for Charlotte. But also, it's like, what, what do we say Charlotte was when we uh, came up in Midland? For the eclipse, twelve, thirteen. So even by max right now, she's sixteen, seventeen. She's just a, a just a teenage girl that thinks she thinks she is, but she's just a teenage girl that's in love. She's blinded. She has no idea what's going on. And to make it even worse, what her father turned out to be, and then to make it even worse that she just has no other access to any other friends or any other outlets to put any of her emotions or interest in to even see a different light or a different side of anything. If her father was still there more caring, and maybe Griffith and maybe Guts and Casca and others were able to hang around her after Griffith had turned into her past, maybe she would have matured a little bit differently or not been like the, the little teenage girl that, you know, just gets butterflies like she's seeing a boy band type shit. So, it's rough, but what can you do? Well, we'll see how it goes. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, your favorite, subscribe as always.